Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. And that's not what I thought I was going to be doing. Prior to this, I had the intention of doing a particular zodiac sign for September. And that just went right out the window. <laughs> for some reason. So what are we actually doing then? If this is what we're doing, Spirit, give me some insight on where I'm going with this then. Why am I doing another collective reading? I saw the word love letter again. Remember I saw that like a, a week, two weeks ago? A love letter. Someone go, is someone wanting to speak something? Let's do tarot. Let's go straight rider weight. Straight golden universal rider weight. Let's just go. Let's just do it. Strength and the moon. Someone has had the strength to hold back. But the moon, and we have this full moon in Pisces coming up tomorrow the 17th. It's also, I think, a partial eclipse or some shit. That's just like I, can't, I was talking about recently and I brought it up in several readings about how like the full moon affects werewolves. And during that time, they have no control. They lose control. Someone here is about to lose their battle of withholding and from holding themselves back. Yes, the lovers. Yes, that's exactly what's going to happen. They, this, okay, 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 here we go. They're not going to be able to fight this attraction and it is connected to the moon or an eclipse somehow. I mean, for fuck's sake, that's three major arcanas in a row. Pisces energy, Leo energy, Gemini energy, sure, but it's the moon, strength, and the lovers. It's that kind of an energy of like, the moon made me do it. The moon is going to activate someone or pull them, guide them, to come bare balls, I mean, not literally, but you know what I mean, to come bare balls in the fact of like, truthful, become clean. They can't keep holding back, they come clean. They've lost, they're gonna lose this battle because I feel like they've been fighting this. I definitely feel like they've been fighting this page of wands that could be a younger a younger fire sign page of sword that could be a younger air sign some of you have more than one person in this scenario wow wow well which one is it ace of cups and the four of wands that's a marriage union that's like basically the holy grail true love it's one of them though which one which one's going to be king Oh, it's going to be fucking explosive and shocking and sudden and out of left field and who would have thunk it and gasping. Oh, that kind of a feeling like people are going to go, oh, my God, didn't see that coming. Didn't see that coming. Something here is going to be shocking, a shocking turn of events. Is it the underdog comes up on top? I don't know, but there's two fuckers here and neither are king or emperor. Who's going to be king? Ooh. 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 That fucking tower card. Yep, yep. Knight of Wands. Come up. Somebody just comes like that. Boom. Somebody just takes the lead. So it's like, oh my God, who's this contender? It came out of the blue. Or someone suddenly takes the lead. Two slow as fuck snail asses, S fucking turtles, molasses, and all of a sudden, a change of events, a turn of events. <gasps> oh my God, someone takes the lead. 
Someone takes the lead. What the fuck is this? Knight of Pentacles. He's slow as fuck. I feel like if you had, I mean, some of you is just one person, okay? But for some of you, there's two. They just didn't do shit. Two of Wands, they were just like, well, I was, I wanted to, well, I was gonna, well, I thought about it, well, I contemplated it. Someone here fucking does it. Someone's just gonna do it. Seven of Wands, see, they're blocking it. Someone here was blocked as far as like emotional commitment goes. They were, it was, it was hands off. They, no way. They went on the table, ain't no fucking way in hell. Someone here was about not wanting to open up emotionally. They, they were in like a commitment phobe. There's the Empress. That's how they see you. Ace of Wands. Tell you somebody's going to take the lead. Somebody's going to fucking take the lead. This could, for some of you, this could be a brand new fucker you, you haven't met yet. It's possible. But why do I feel like at least, well, at least, uh, at least one of them, it's an ongoing connection or, you, or this is something where you, you and this person, you thought in the past it could be. There's a possibility. It was potential. Someone reaches out. Could be an olive branch. Someone here may have to apologize. Or is it an offering? It could be an offering. Oh, it could very well be an offering. Five of Pentacles. Someone feels shut out. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. They did this. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Some sort of deception there, right? Where they may have been, I don't know, fucking deceiving themselves, lying to themselves, or pretending. I don't fucking know. But this is the card of like going back and forth. I don't know. Shut up. Five of Pentacles. That's it, being shut out. Did they shut themselves out because they didn't do goddamn thing? That's what it's basically looking like. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh my God. You got the high priestess and you got the wheel of fortune. I'm telling you, someone's luck is about to change suddenly. You're not going to see it coming because the, the high priestess is keeper of secrets. The reading I did previously, the collective one, somebody's going to be getting a huge fortune. I don't know if that came out in the YouTube reading or in the extended, right? But it was like massive fucking huge amounts of like abundance and good luck and fortune and all this energy was coming through. That's again, the wheels turning for some of you financially, career opportunity wise, but it's something you don't see coming. High priestess being keeper of secrets. It's like when the it's like when the wheel turns the secrets can no longer be hidden this is a secret as well too yeah seven of swords so if this person has been keeping some sort of a secret or hiding their intentions or feelings it's going to be revealed it's going to be revealed can't hide it any longer uh, the universe won't let them bitch sexual encounter highly highly fucking attracted to each other i mean both of you secretly fantasize secretly pine and yearn physically late night communication oh god don't get these two fucked up for somebody using you as a booty call we don't do booty calls how come only they got time for you at 3 a.m.? How come they only got time for you when they want to stick it in? No. Mm -mm. No, you don't entertain those things. But something tells me late at night, this is when they feel super extraordinarily connected to you because the, you got their juices flowing, their body parts throbbing, and this could actually be when they reach out. They could reach out late at night. Taboo. Luscious. Oh, they keep this really hidden. They think I'm not supposed to feel this way. I'm supposed to be free like a bird. I'm not supposed to pine after someone. I want to be single. <sighs> Twin flame. Oh, bitch. It's just, and now here we go. You also have travel, which with the twin flame card feel, makes me feel like it's separation. Two, two peas in a pod. Mirror souls, 
two sides of the same coin. Yin Yang. These are two opposites who at the core of them are basically almost like the same. I mean, if you're connected to the twin flame energy, what a journey it has been, hasn't it? I mean, all the newborns and the newbies got to go through it too. But for those of us that are veterans, what a journey it's been. And wow, what did we learn on this twin flame journey? Well, we learned that, you know, the universe sort of took us down a rabbit hole, a vast rabbit hole, where, my God, we thought maybe several people could have ended up being our twin flames and we found they weren't and they're catalysts. And what it was is a catalyst to kickstart your journey of self-love. Some people still go, well, that was my twin flame. I mean, I haven't done everybody's readings and felt out every single person's connection, but if I had a dollar every time someone told me that and realized it later after the fact, when they heal that part of themselves that thought that was their twin flame, I'd be a, a millionaire. So I'm not just saying this because I'm pulling it out of my ass out of sheer thin air. I'm saying this because I've been doing this a very long time, seven years on YouTube. Um, this is separation from somebody who is, I mean, you guys are literally connected. Your, your, your souls are almost, I mean, you know, the twin flame thing, if you were to Google it, and we all thought these things and believed it right in the beginning of the journey because we didn't have nothing to go by. But you know, what are the characteristics are... And they always say distance and they say age difference or all these different things. But there's something that they say that is controversial, right? And it's whether you believe it or you don't. And nothing is neither right or wrong. It's perspective. Um, and it's also, you know, a, a comprehension of where you are in your particular frequency. Um, but people will say, well, it's the same soul split in two. I mean, I guess it's true depending on how you look at it like people just want to know what i think about everything right oh yeah that's why i'm gonna start a podcast because it's been at least a several years that i've been procrastinating about it and you know i think i'm finally ready to sort of branch out a little bit in that direction um but intuitively that feels right but it can mean that you guys just came from the same star, you know, just I, I, there's something about it. I, I don't know the details, right? Because with each person, it's different. But also we haven't hit that point of complete enlightenment yet because we don't hit that until we cross over when this fucking physical meat suit life journey is over. Intuitively, yes, that feels right. It's like one energy that split in two that has gone on this physical journey, how many lifetimes, who knows, right? Everybody's different. So this is why when these two meet up in any lifetime, there is this, <gasps> and it's rare. And we've had false starts and false alarms in the past. Like I said, they were catalysts. We know this now on our journey. You couldn't have told me shit about that when I was going through it. I'd be like, you're a fucking idiot. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Fucking, you have no idea. You don't even know. And it's like so funny because once we, it's like when you tell a teenager, right? Like, don't do that. You shouldn't be doing this and give them fair warnings and like kind of help them along. And, and, but they got to go through it on their own. And later when they grow up, they go, oh my God, my parents are right. Oh yeah, they were right about this. It's like the same concept of like people have to just go through it on their own. What am I getting at here? Red string of fate. You're fated. But which one? Remember years ago, I always used to channel the decoy. How spirit may have wanted us to think something while something else is very magician energy. Look over here, look over here, look over here, because this is what's happening here. And I think that's so funny because a lot of the catalyst that they brought in our life was, you know, really about teaching us lessons of love. But we've had a lot of distractions of look over here, look over here while the universe did something else. And so when we have two energies that are coming forth and we're feeling it, and we're like, which one is it going to be? 
There's like a plot twist here. Of course they would have something up their sleeve. Cause that's what I'm feeling. Like I'm feeling like the universe has got something up their sleeve. It's a plot twist. And we're gonna feel that out on Patreon. Yes, for all of my loyal patrons on Patreon, we're gonna do this extended there. All right, so if you would like to watch this extended, you must be a patron on Patreon. You can click below this video the word more. You'll see all my links. My Patreon link is there and you have to be a paying member on Patreon to watch all of the videos on Patreon and go down a beautiful rabbit hole. There's still quite a bit of older but timeless erotic readings that I've done on um, Patreon before where now they don't allow me to do so because I've got to connect it on YouTube and it's a whole thing. And anyways, um, but there's a lot on Patreon. So you get a lot of bang for your buck and the, the videos on Patreon do not expire. So you're not really renting it. You're actually able to watch it as many times as you want. Um, so I will finish this off in Patreon and I will uh, see you guys when I see you. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Thank you for all of the donations you guys have been sending me um, recently to my PayPal. All right, my PayPal info is in my description box. I really appreciate that, you guys. And I will see you in the extended on Patreon. Love you, bye.